This is Y Code Journey 2019 General Mathematics Paper 2, and we are answering question number 80B. And the question says in the diagram, this very diagram, ABC is a right angle triangle. ABC, this is a right angle triangle. And it is on the horizontal ground, so it's like you are drawing this. Uh, it's this triangle is like it is now drawn on the ground floor. The length AD is a vertical tour. This AD, so it's like it's a tour erected on the floor or on the ground level. And that tour is called AD. Angle BAC equals to 90 degrees. BAC, so this angle is 90 degrees. You can see the marking there. Angle ACB is 35. ACB is 35. It's also marked in the drawing. Angle ABD is 52. ABD is also marked. Look at it, 52. And the distance BC is 66. Distance from B to C on the ground floor is 66 meters. So we ask to find the correct Buddhism. Let's use these two questions. The length of the two are this AD. And uh, we have to find the angle of elevation of the top of the tour from a C. This C is on the ground level, and this is the end or the top part of the tour. So if somebody is to look at the top from this ground level C, the angle of elevation, which is this angle, is what we ask to find in Roman 2. So let's attend to answer this question together. Solution to the problem, starting with the length of the tour ED. I can see three triangles here, both are right angle triangle. You can see this angle is marked as a right angle, but because that this tour is vertically erected and this line is on the horizontal ground, so definitely this angle between line AB and line ED must also be 90 degrees. Similarly, line AC is on the horizontal ground. And this is a vertical tour, so this angle must also be 90 degrees. So I can have three right angle triangles here. So to find the length of this AD, that is the length of the tour, it is in this very triangle, which I only have this very angle 52. So if I can find this length AB, I can apply my trig ratio with this angle and this side AB to find the distance AD. So let me see if I can find this AB. I have this angle 35, this side is 66. I can find this using sine ratio because this is opposite to this angle and this is hypotenuse. So let me begin to find the distance AB. So AB using my sine ratio, sine 35 degrees will now be equals to the side AB divided by 66. 66 is the hypotenuse while AB is the opposite. So cross multiply, you now have AB to be equals to 66 multiplied by sine 35. Uh, find it as sine 35 from your calculator and multiply it by 66 correctly. You now have the distance AB as 37.86 meters. This is it. So you can now use the this side AB together with this angle 52 using the tangent ratio to find the length of the two AD. This will be opposite while this side will now be adjacent. So using tangent ratio, you now have tangent of 52 will be equals to opposite ED divided by the adjacent, which is 37.86. Cross multiplying it to get ED, you now have ED equals to 37.86 multiplied by tangent of 52. Tangent 52 from your calculator multiply by 37.6 if done correctly. Give answer ED as 48.46 meters. So this will now be the length of this very tour. So Roman 1 has been answered. We we'll move to Roman 2. The angle of elevation of the top of the tour D from the point C, which is on the ground level, is what we need to find. So let me call that angle theta. So to find the theta, we are making use of this very triangle. And in this triangle, I have only it is side AD, which I just determined here as 48.46. So if I can find this side AC, I can use the two sides to find this very angle. So of course, I can find the side AC using 35 and 66. This should now be adjacent, and this would now be hypotenuse. So 
cos of 35 degrees will now be equal to the side AC, which is the adjacent, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 66. So cross multiplied, you have AC equals to 66 multiplied by cos 35 and cos 35 from the calculator multiplied by 66 if done correctly give result 54.06 meters. So this side EC is now 54.06. So you can now find this theta by using this side EC and the side ED. Side ED is opposite to the angle theta while 54.06 is adjacent to the angle theta. So there you can take the tangent ratio. So tangent of theta will now be the opposite, 48.64, divided by the adjacent, which is 54.06. This the division, if done correctly, now have 0 0.8964 as you turn the theta. So to get the theta, we now take the tan inverse of this 0 0.8964. So the tan inverse of this value will now be answer for 1.87 degrees rounded to two decimal places. So this is now the angle of elevation. And this answered the two questions. So let me just share with you how this very question is now marked. During the market of this very paper, so the very first mark is method one mark. In attempt to get the side EB, writing this sine ratio sine 35 degrees correctly, you have this method one mark. When you have the side AB exactly as 37.86 meters correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is attempt to get the height of the tour using this uh, tangent ratio, tangent of 52, you have this accuracy one mark. And when you now have the side ED, that is the tour as 48.46 meters correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. Also, it attempted to find the angle theta. Finding the side EC using the cosine ratio correctly, you have this method on mark. And when that side EC is now obtained exactly as 54.06 meters, you have this accuracy on mark. And uh, when you now take the correct ratio and attempt to find this angle theta, the angle of elevation, you now take the correct ratio that is tangent and you substitute the opposite and the adjacent correctly, you have this method one mark. And when you now have uh, the angle theta after taking the tan inverse exactly as 41.87 rounded to two decimal places, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this question has uh, eight good marks.